The Big Red Boat The Wiggles were getting ready for a picnic. Anthony was packing fruit and sandwiches in the picnic basket. Where will we go? he asked. There's a park down by the harbour, replied Greg. Come on everyone, the big red car is waiting. When the four friends arrived at the picnic spot, it was rather crowded. All the picnic tables are taken, Jeff pointed out. That island out in the harbour looks lovely, said Murray. If only we could get there. I know some cars can go across water, laughed Greg, but not the big red car. Toot toot, said the big red car. It's okay, big red car, Anthony smiled, giving it a pat. We won't take you in the water. Perhaps we could borrow a boat, suggested Jeff. A small boat, just big enough for four. They walked to the water's edge and talked to the man who was hiring out boats. Hello, Wiggles, he beamed encouragingly. Can I help you? We've come for a picnic, but the picnic area is crowded, explained Murray. We looked over at the island, but we need a boat to get there. Could we borrow one of yours? The boatman smiled. I don't see why not, he replied. Bring your picnic basket down here and I'll run you across. But how will we get back? Asked Jeff in a worried tone. It's too far to swim. Don't you worry about that, Jeff, replied the boatman. You enjoy your picnic and wave to me when you're ready to go home. The Wiggles climbed into the boat and soon they were on the island. I'm so hungry said Anthony, as he spread a tablecloth on a picnic table and unpacked the food. After lunch, the Wiggles put everything away. Let's go for a walk around the island, suggested Greg. Come on, Murray, Anthony, Jeff. Jeff shook his head. Ugh, not me, he said as he settled down under a tree. I'm ready for a nap. The Wiggles thought the island was beautiful. There were trees, rocks and sandy beaches with shady paths to walk along. There's another island, cried Murray, pointing across the water. Ah, <sighs> it would be great to have our own boat and be able to come to an island in the harbour whenever we wanted to, sighed Anthony. And the others agreed. We could travel up rivers too, added Greg. If only we had our own boat, Murray nodded. Wake up, Jeff, called Anthony when they arrived back at the picnic ground. It's time to call the boatman. He's on his way, said Murray, pointing. But look, he's towing another boat behind him. It's a red boat. I wonder who it's for. They went to the wharf and to their surprise saw that the red boat had four seats. One red, one blue, one yellow and one purple. Look, exclaimed Anthony. It has our name painted on the front. It says the Wiggles. The boatman smiled. I know how hard you work singing and dancing. So I thought I'd paint this boat while you were enjoying your picnic. It's for you. It's a present. I'll put it on a trailer, the boatman added, and the big red car can tow it back to Wiggle House. Toot toot, said the big red car. Of course you can, chuckled Anthony, as the four friends fastened their seatbelts. Wow! exclaimed Murray. We've got a big red car and a big red boat. We can go almost anywhere. Adventures, here we come! <laughs>